actually come out into our local city today to do a little bit of research for a workshop I'm about to run and I wanted just a little bit of time to myself. It was such a lovely day and I absolutely love coming into our city and wandering around our cathedral. We have the most beautiful cathedral and it's stuck right in the middle of a very, I don't know, just typical city, you know. <laughs> it's the city of Peterborough, it's not probably the most pretty city in the country, but the cathedral is stunning and I find it's my, like a sanctuary almost. I always find walking around the gardens really peaceful and calming and it's where I tend to come if I want to try and relax my brain and just get a bit of inspiration maybe. So I've had an interesting day today. I've started a new diet and as a trained nutritionist and a trained qualified personal trainer it's been a bit of a challenge really getting my head around the fact that I've chosen a diet that historically I would never have chosen and there's definitely a few internal conflicts going on because it's a very low calorie diet it's a meal replacement diet and it goes against absolutely everything I've been taught and everything that I kind of believe in when it comes to nutrition but here's the rub <laughs> everything I know and everything I've been trained to do I've been doing and I find it very very hard to lose weight at the minute I think that's quite common for lots of midlife women but I feel like if what I've been doing hasn't been working then there's no point in doing the same thing over and over again whatever my belief systems are so I've bitten the bullet and started the one-to-one -one diet which is the Cambridge diet in, in old money and I've been doing it for a week and it's it's really got me confused <laughs> because it's not what I expected it to be for a start it's far better than I expected so I'm <laughs> you know this <laughs> in any way sponsored but it is just my thoughts and I thought I would just talk through my experiences of weight loss and menopause and midlife because I know it's something that comes up very very often for women about 70% they reckon whoever they are <laughs> of women will put on weight during their midlife menopause transition and the advice is you know the the good advice the advice that I always gave is to eat whole foods, healthy foods, watch your portion control, reduce the amount of processed foods, reduce the amount of carbohydrates, not necessarily keto, despite the fact that lots of people promote keto, and you know, lots of water, all those things that we know we should be doing. But I, quite honestly, I wasn't doing. And it's very hard, you know, to feel authentic and to feel um, like you have integrity when the advice that you're giving to people is to do one thing and it's fundamentally not working for you. It feels disingenuous and it feels fake, which is why for the last five years or so, despite being a trained nutrition coach, I've moved away from health coaching because the advice that I was, I don't even want to say advice, but the guidance that I was giving was based on the nutritional training that I'd done, which has a lot of science behind it, 
but for me it wasn't working and it just yeah felt felt wrong and I've I think I've realized over the last couple of years and I've always said this actually we are all different and there cannot be a one-size-fits-all approach to our nutrition because we have a whole load of things going on other than just you know eat better and move more so this is not in any way suggesting that the one-to-one -one diet is the be-all end-all for everybody by any means and I've only been doing it a week <laughs> so you know I have limited evidence but I think what it's made me realize is that every diet you read about claims to be backed up by solid science and if they're all telling us different things that contradict each other then maybe the science isn't what's the be all and end all maybe it's more about what works for us as individuals so as I say I'm not promoting or unpromoting any kind of particular diet I'm just sharing my thoughts and my experiences so yeah, I'm not saying that there's any right or wrong diet really what I'm saying is we're all very different and if something isn't working maybe it's time to try something different and put our belief systems aside and perhaps let go of some of the some of the the beliefs that maybe we we have about things so let me tell you about my week so I've lost 4.6 pounds 2.1 I think that is kilograms kilo, kilos kilograms and for me that's very unusual when I start a weight loss program I'm never one of those people that loses a lot of weight in the first week I normally sort of catch up about week two or three so this is quite surprising I can't say I'm loving the products but they are palatable they're okay and they're certainly helping me to stay full I don't feel particularly hungry most of the time which is good that was one of my fears and it's not as low calorie as I thought I also thought the Cambridge diet or the one-to-one -one diet was sort of 400 500 calories a day it's not I'm on about a thousand calories a day which is still quite low and it goes against everything as I say that I've been trained and taught about sort of metabolic down regulation etc so I'm having to kind of trust that this diet is 40 years old and they probably know a thing or two about what they're talking about and it's their science that they're basing it on and since all of the science seems to contradict itself anyway I'm not sure we can rely on science as being the, uh, the deciding factor. I'll tell you what I do like about it though, especially as somebody with ADHD. It's taken away the decision fatigue. That fatigue that I don't know if you'll relate to, but I get in trying to think about what I need to have to eat. Planning, preparing, organising, thinking. <laughs> it's taken all that away and that is actually proving to be a significant bonus, a significant benefit because I have a busy enough mind and not having to worry about thinking about what I should have, not having to make choices about it, it's actually really really helpful. So I'm having two meal replacements a day plus an evening meal so I do have conventional food, it's not all meal replacement. It's not all meal replacement, there is normal food in there as well and I think that I find it very difficult if there wasn't any food in there. No alcohol, but actually that hasn't been an issue at all, I haven't missed it one bit. I've had a couple of days when I've been a little bit angry 
but um, I think that's more in my head than in reality so I've just had a, a drink I am drinking more um, fluid water etc that I normally would I do tend to struggle a bit with getting enough water in so it's forcing me I think to drink more water it's definitely more low carb um, but it's not ketogenic I'm still having carbohydrates in the evenings but that is one thing that I completely agree with I think as a society we tend to eat far too much carbohydrate in relation to the other macronutrients so, you know, fats and proteins so I don't think that's a major thing in itself and do you know all in all I'm quite enjoying it so the decision making is good not having to think about it is good and also I think another reason why I think it's good for my ADHD is I have a very rewards driven brain very rewards driven nervous system so seeing the weight starting to shift and don't get me wrong I'm not um, delusional about this I know that isn't all fat loss but seeing some movement already is giving me that sort of instant gratification I guess that my interest and rewards driven brain benefits from so all in all I'm doing all right and one of the things I have noticed already even with just four and a half pounds gone is that the discomfort in my knees I've got arthritis in my knees is definitely better than it was definitely better than it was um, I'm walking today and there I can't feel any discomfort in my knees at all and I feel like I've got more energy which is very surprising on so few calories I feel like I've got a lot more energy so it's really challenging all of my preconceptions and maybe some misconceptions about what the diet is like now I'm also not delusional about the fact that the vast majority of diets don't work in the long term unless you fundamentally change your relationship with food and the, the way you eat but in reality I think my problems have become habitual and I've not really ever since I since I gave up work I've not really ever stopped to focus on getting back into a better mindset a better frame of mind around my eating and I think what I've needed has been something quite um, like a pattern interrupt so I, over the last few years I have had a couple of um, attempts at losing weight using you know using coaches and uh, other weight loss um, companies all diets work any diet regardless of what it is whether it's Weight Watchers, Slimming World, the one-to-one -one diet, ketogenic diets, fasting, all of the different methodologies are based around one fundamental thing which is to get you into a calorie deficit that is physics that doesn't change what I think some of the other diets haven't taken into account of for me is my mindset and my uh, emotional response to food and I think because of the way my brain works I'm quite all or nothing and given too much freedom almost to do it my way which is what you get with a lot of the the diets that I've tried in the past a lot of the the eating plans that I've been given from the coaching companies there's almost too much freedom and the problem with that is I wasn't doing it I wasn't sticking to a plan and I think the the rigidity of this one-to-one -one diet and it is quite rigid I don't want to sugarcoat this you know it's 
The food is a means to an end, and gradually, as I think, as I understand it, the, num the, the meal replacements will reduce and the amount of conventional food will go up. In reality, my diet, as in the, the types of food I eat, has never really been a problem. I have quite a whole food diet for the vast majority of the time. But portion control and mindless snacking has been the problem. Lack of movement, lack of mobility, not enough exercise, and basically eating too many calories has been fundamentally my problem. So this has given me a structure, quite a strict structure, that I think my ADHD brain actually benefits from. As I said before, it's taken the decision making out of it. It's giving me some fairly immediate results and I'm not finding it challenging. So we'll see how we get on. So today's video is a bit rambly, I'm sure. Um, I'm trying lots of different things this month through Vlogtober. This is, I have no idea what day is it? I think possibly day seven. I've lost track. Um, but I'm just trying different things, different pace of videos. Tried some baseless videos. I've got another one coming out, which I'm hoping you'll enjoy all about the autumn years. There we go, I'll not tell you any more about that for now. Keep an eye out for that one. Um, what I really hope you won't do, and I know my community won't because my community that I have already are so lovely, but for anybody who might be listening to this, who's feeling in any way triggered by the fact that my choice of weight loss plan maybe doesn't fit with your ideals, please don't troll me in the comments. We are all individuals and what works for one doesn't necessarily mean it will work for everybody. And I think it's all about finding your own way. I don't think any of these plans fundamentally don't work. I think there's, what happens often is we have an experience of success with something and therefore we assume that must be right for everybody. And I think I see a lot of, certainly a lot of health coaches preaching one way and the only way. And I don't believe that's the case. I think if you've been a trained nutritionist, you are bound to favour whatever methods and whatever um, sort of whatever what's the word I might think for whatever protocols you've been taught. But of course, even the people that created those protocols probably created them through their own filters, with their own experiences and their own natural biases. So please don't troll me in the comments if you disagree with anything I'm doing or anything I'm saying. I have a friend, uh, I had a friend a while ago, who unfriended some of the people he was friends with on Facebook. And when I asked him why, he said it's because their opinions were wrong. Well, you can't have a wrong opinion by very virtue of the fact that it is an opinion. So all I'm sharing today are my opinions. They may not align with your opinions and I totally respect that. So I'm hoping you'll respect mine and not troll me <laughs> in the comments. Um, anyway, they are my opinions. That's my experience. That's me challenging my own ideology and uh, we'll see how it goes. But if I continue to lose weight and my knees start to feel better, then I'll be happy. I'll talk to you soon. Take care.